surgery to correct scoliosis in children under the age of 10 often includes special rods that grow as the child grows, correcting some of the spine's curve and keeping it from getting worse. Some growing rods must be lengthened in an operating room, which requires additional surgeries. Others can be lengthened in a clinic setting with a special magnet. The surgeon will help decide what type of growing rods are best for your child. During the initial surgery, small incisions are made on the back and the muscles covering the spine are gently moved. Screws are placed into the vertebrae and other hardware like hooks may be added to the ribs and pelvis. One or two rods are tunneled under the muscle, connecting the screws together. It's not usually possible to completely straighten the spine, but it is common to see a noticeable improvement in the curve right away. Finally, the muscles are repaired and the skin is closed. After surgery, your child may need to wear a brace as the spine heals. Most children are back to their normal activities in 6 to 12 weeks. Once your child has stopped growing, it's common for patients with growing rods to have another surgery to either replace the fully lengthened rod or remove it and place a more permanent rod in the spine. This type of surgery is known as spinal fusion. Our team of spine specialists are nationally recognized in their field for caring for children with scoliosis, kyphosis, and other spinal conditions and are specially trained to treat growing bones.